Hey everybody and welcome back to Bobby J's Reef Tank. Uh, I'm sorry I haven't uploaded in a long time and just been extremely busy and just want to make this video to show you some bad news stuff that's going on in my tank um, everything was going pretty good for the most part until I uh, went on vacation for a week and when I got back the auto top off wasn't filled back up so my salinity was spiked really high and a lot of my corals died a lot of my LPS corals have died um, some reason though my zoas are still thriving so that's cool see there's my um, fruit loop zoas but I've been having problems with my LPS corals ever since the uh, top off auto top off was empty so let's take a look here um, this is hard to look at every day now. This used to be my candy cane corals. I had a lot of them. If you've seen my previous video, my LPS video, you would know what they looked like. They were really nice looking. There was lots of them. I think it was one of the first corals I picked up. It was in the hobby. It grew, grew nicely and now every single head's gone on it as you can see um, super sad um, this one's still barely alive I can't remember what it's called but I have hopes for that one but this one here is very disappointing my maize coral completely dead now um, there was like a little speck left there in the middle but Rest in peace. This was a friggin awesome maize coral. Dead. And go over here. And the war coral. That's starting to die. Slowly but surely. Look around the edges. It's pretty clear that it's receding. That was taking off. Before the tank crashed. And now it's. It's dying faster than it grew, which sucks really bad. And we have this one here, which was the Blood Diamond Favite. That was also doing awesome. It was starting to grow onto the rocks. You know, every time I fed the tank, the tentacles came out. I don't know. I don't know what happened. I think it was the because the salinity went up too high. Um, I don't know, but right now my levels are stable. I have my alkalinity at 10. My, um, calcium's around 425. Uh, pH is like 8.1. Nitrates are a little high, probably because everything's dying. But, oh, I also have this, um, Red algae is probably another result of dying corals, but I don't know if anybody sees anything in here that doesn't look right that you notice, feel free to leave a comment um, up for any ideas you might have. It's just really strange because um, the, the zoas are growing real nice didn't affect them but I know they're a different type of coral in a different family and so are the bird nest corals which they're thriving too except for this little piece down here that's dying off but for the most part they're doing good too but like I said if you see anything here that doesn't look right leave a comment below um, I've been using distilled water in the auto top off reservoir. Um, one of the local reefers told me it's a bad idea to use that distilled water. He says you have to use 
the RO reverse osmosis water so if you know anything about that or if you think that's that's true that distilled water is bad for a reef tank you know comment that below I'm just trying to reach out now because this is uh this sucks really bad I, I mean I spent a lot of time on this tank it was looking really nice so I don't know besides the corals dying I have a something cool coming up eventually I'm getting a new LED light for my tank I'm not gonna say what brand or what type it is right now I'm gonna eventually make a video on that and hopefully and get my tank squared away and get some new LPS going in there but I think my first step is to get my nitrates down and do some more water changes get rid of this red algae and go from there but like I said if you see anything here that doesn't look right in the tank let me know um, it's Bobby J's reef tank appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you next time See ya.